what is up y'all welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another reaction video and support a black owned business I run my city from the west side, big to best, I do a day to shite. Queen Louisiana, Dr. Dre, the Los Angeles, this is it, bitch, Michael Misfit. Hot huh? day, a legend and moonwalk, sliding across the stage in 87. This that Tupac out the window, both hands throwing up that middle finger. Fuck them other niggas, ratchet bitches in my demons, yeah, I'm queen. Well, hey, y'all, and welcome back to another reaction video. I am your host with the most Natalie Love. I am pumping out these motherfucking reactions like crazy, okay? I'm trying to do reactions, vlogs, and then I don't know what the fuck else to do, but other than that, I'm giving you motherfucking content, okay? And I thank y'all for sending these in to me. Apparently, y'all like when I do the Karen videos. Not, not doing too many of them, okay? I'm going to do a couple more of them, but y'all know how I feel, all right? Y'all know where to go. Y'all need to head over there and talk to Miranda about this shit at the okay but this one is the top 25 best entitled angry karens who got on number four um compilation so we are going to get right into this video but not before these messages what the fuck is up love family as y'all already know this is your girl natalie love and yes i've been gone for a minute but bitch i'm back with the jump off not only that bitch i'm back with motherfucking merch okay y'all love teeny so much i got her on the shirt y'all love being from the new revival tree of life institutional double rock on the side of the road missionary baptist church of mount calvary bitch i got a shirt for that do the lord allow cussing wow okay fuck it but i got shirts y'all make sure to get off your ass or stay on your ass just stay on your phone and go to that website and look up some shit about me and get a shirt and make sure you stop by the natalielove.com and purchase you a shirt get you some merch don't be purged i'm gotta work on my rapping skills one of these days the 85 south show gonna call and tell me girl we need you on here and then we're gonna be freestyle rapping on the couch and then i ain't gonna have shit you know what i'm saying i gotta work on that i gotta brush up on my craft man well that ain't really my craft that's just some shit i'm trying but anyway we're gonna jump right into this reaction video again make sure you like because it helps us grow make sure you comment to let us know that you subscribed to the love family okay now let me go ahead and make sure we record bow all right bow and we are off we have a lot of great clips to get through tonight, so let's jump right into it. And our first clip tonight features a woman who has managed to send a Trump supporter over the oh edge. Oh, Lord, they she still out the here? So much that he starts to get extremely Like the angry ones, y'all still mad? Her. Just when the situation seems to be cooling See down for a minute, the woman then decides to hit him where it hurts and makes fun of his bald head. How this male Karen responds will have you laugh. How is he mad cry. about being bald? It looks like he I takes pride in it. You're 40. I'm just a kid. If you weren't a kid... You know what? I'm gonna knock that phone out of your hand. <laughs> Are you mad? Your daddy didn't win. Are you mad? Oh, just sit back and relax, you, you Bye. Sit back and relax. I am, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Is it that serious? I wish you were 18. I'd remove oh, I your am. hand. I am Touch 19. Me. Touch no. me. Now she. Touch me. Okay. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. I hate people like this. I wish you were 18 because I'd rip off your head. First of all, you're talking, to a ch you're talking to a child. Then you're talking to a female. And if you're going to rip her fucking head off, it shouldn't matter what age she is. Because I'll punch anybody. An old lady, a young baby, it don't fucking matter. If I feel disrespected. You just got there mad about somebody else's pockets. That man rich, whether he won or not. Okay? But you mad enough to approach these people, grinning and shit, I I'd knock your fucking head. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't, because if you would, you wouldn't have to invite me to touch you. I already got you so mad that you were in my damn face. Now I got to get you to touch me, too? This is too much work. Hey, touch me. You're not worth it, baby. He's going to have an aneurysm out there shaking. I'll remove your head. Go get in the car, sir. You know what? You're in my face. You're in my face. You yeah. better back off. Yeah, okay. But you're that far away from your truck. Don't stay up long enough to cause any problems. Look at this little... Oh, I get more pussy than you, mother Oh. I get so much more pussy than you. You know what? Go ahead and get in your car, baby. Put your hand on me. You need your glasses to Put see. Put your hand on me. Yeah? Have another one. Okay. <laughs> Are you mad? Upset. He fuming. Let's see. Let's see your quick. Yeah? Yep. 
Get behind it. Please, get behind it. Get behind it. Uh-huh. You ain't as crazy as you think, dumbass. <laughs> Bye, baby. You know what you need? You need to be removed from the gene pool because you're too f***ing stupid to be alive. Yeah? Yeah, you oh, do. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hair, sweetie. Oh, touch me. Touch me. No. Don't touch me. You need somebody to touch, touch you that bad. Touch Back me. with the phone. That's all touch they had to do. Me. Come on. Come on, heart. Get that phone out of my face. But the fact that you calling somebody else a hard ass and you sitting this close, looking like the goddamn daddy off Despicable Me, you sitting this close cussing at somebody talking about touch me. Why do you need to be touched? How much closer do we, if you get any closer, we'll literally be one person. I can literally smell your navel. I can smell what you ate yesterday. I'm about this close. No, you, you're this, this close, close, actually. I'm you're about this close. You've been too close. How this Amazon <laughs> delivery driver struggled to find a parking spot for his Shut van up. while he was out doing deliveries. The worker knew he only had a few packages to quickly drop off, so he decided to park his van in the middle but of the street. But the fact that your little fat ass ain't moving long. quick at all. Long story short, traffic starts to build up quite quickly, and the Amazon delivery driver is quickly confronted by this guy. I said, move the truck or I'll move it for you. No, you're not moving nothing. I'm ready to drive these packages off. And you ready to wait, bro. Chill, bro. I just parked the truck not too long there ago. There are 10 cars in the oh, way. Move the mother truck yeah, all right. Picture that. You're not talking to me like that, bro. Show some respect. I, I am talking to you like that right now. You hear me? That's because the shoe's too small. You inconsiderate piece of move the truck. Yeah, you can off too. All right, I'm gonna move it for you then. You're gonna spouse on me. You're gonna spouse on me. Why don't you spouse on the steering wheel? Man. Come on, you got like 20 people. Bro, all y'all in my here, bro. Cook in your truck, bro. Do you see the mess you're causing? Bro, I'm not causing it. I'm just trying to deliver the packages. There's a parking spot right there. And you're in the middle of the goddamn street, you fool. You got people getting out of their cars. Multiple people. I don't give a You're in the car. Yeah, you don't give a car. If y'all all out of your car. If y'all all out of the car, by the time he do pull off, you're going to have to get back in the car. So y'all still going to be there. Is fired. I'm not gonna get fired, bro. I'm dropping packages. You are. I'm not. You, you got, think you're not gonna get fired for this? And this next woman finds herself in the middle of a heated argument with an employee at a car rental company. The employee tells the woman behind the camera that her entitled attitude is If you're gonna be scared to record, just don't. She needs to you're gonna record chest and now, shit. Karen Go ahead on and Karen put that camera up. A massive argument breaks out between the two. With me. You really aren't. Really? You know, you're not. Because you're, you're not you're not even hearing me. No, out. because yesterday I called twice and you didn't return my call and neither did you. Know he. How busy we are here? It doesn't matter. I was the only one I here am yesterday. a customer as well. Yeah, I know, it but doesn't you're being matter. Unreasonable. I am asking and you, know you to give me. Your I'm attitude, asking you even to when you talk to my district manager, am, he's going to do the same. Even, I, it doesn't matter. Even if he returns your call, which I you probably won't. I want the won't. number of the district manager. You it. build me twice. Right. And they don't do anything you until you build me the, twice. The, the rental agreement this is closed. Go, the going back and forth. You, she, she's literally upset already. If y'all did bill her twice, you know what I'm saying? Let her get all that frustration out and then go ahead. But the going back and forth, you y'all are not listening to each other. Y'all are y'all not talking to each other. You're talking at each other. Hush the fuck up and let her finish talking because she going to stand there and keep doing it as long as you're doing it with her. I want his number do because anything. stop yelling at me. No, you need to go outside. I First want, I want the number. You're not going to get it. I know in your life you're probably used to getting what you want. You're not going to No, get it's it not that you. because you guys Whoa. Me twice. You can't do anything until you Yeah, so now you taking it personal cuz you had to get your top took off your Starbucks cup and you had to get a venti instead of a grande. That's my fault. Bitch. <laughs> it is it's days like that you need to use your PTO. She not in the mood to be at work. She she not in the mood to be there. Why did once you guys returned, charge me twice? I would like you, to know. Once you returned the car, and you refused to give me. To okay, your money. and I'm having it here recorded. Okay, return the car. great. And this next man has just come into a gas station with his girlfriend and is in the middle of giving the employee a hard time after she had refused to refund the item. Because of this, the man with the camera starts to lash out at this employee. I hate when they, when, if you don't know how, hold that camera still. 
You got to be willing to die about that footage. Hold that camera it's still. Crazy. Let's if you gonna do it, do it. Freak out. Uh, don't say it. what? You don't give a f wait till you get fired. You stupid as. Sh bro. <laughs> I'm stupid. I bet you just got, you, just got you just got this job. You just got this job. You just got this job. She could have came in. Got she you don't gotta pump. You dumb. You could refund our money. You dumb. Cause you don't know your job. You fat. Wait till the cops come, bro. Of course, that was you coming. You are stupid. Talking about hostile. Of course, I'm gonna be hostile. I've been here since 10:30 waiting for your dumb. You ain't gonna do sh. Just gonna keep running your mouth and clapping and talking to your invisible friend. You wanna keep talking to your invisible friend? You know how to refund? Wait till this go to your corporate. You calling the police on customers that paid you? I just bought nine scratch offs from your. D but you gonna call police on the customer that paid you, right? You got twenty dollars in my pump, but I don't have my money, right? So whose fault is it? Yours. Clearly yours. I paid you for scratch offs. You don't know how to refund the money. You don't know how to pump the gas tank. So who's untrained? I need to talk to your store manager. I need to talk well, to your corporate. Well, obviously they're not there. I need to talk to everybody about you. You're going to be on YouTube, 7-Eleven Employee of the Year. What is your name? Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, take it off, Evelyn. <laughs> I see that E. I see that E and I see that big bush on your head too. You want to start getting roasted? Your nose ring. My girl hair way longer than yours. Why you call me? Look Wait, why That's real hair. Like you got a yeah, bush. Yeah, because you out of line. Because she mad. Because she mad. Because I know you fired. can get down on you're him. You're about to get fired. Because you're dumb as Don't worry. She sh life. She's about to get fired, bro. We're going to wait for the police, too. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm a customer, too. I just purchased She told you. So she, you supposed Poor to girl, girl friend. Gas, she don't, know, she don't want none of that. Gas, apparently, too. He was trying to pump in the Right. That's her fault, bro. And she calling the police on me because I want my gas. You should do something, bro. What do you mean? What do you keep mean she going. should do what something? Say? Yeah. For the camera, ah, the the whole girlfriend just too. keep <laughs> calling the customers too. Right? Y'all gonna just throw the girlfriend all up under the bus now <laughs> because he talking shit about her puff. You gonna talk about the girlfriend here? Then he gonna tell the girlfriend you should do something. So you want her to go behind the counter and fight a Seven Eleven employee for nothing? <laughs> For nothing. If the girl called in the goddamn police, her George is going to, have to be short twenty dollars when the police get there. I just don't understand why why a lot of us just don't learn how to be real player about shit. Chill out. How hard is it to just sit there and chill? Oh, you called the police? Okay, cool. I done went and sat at one of the motherfucking machines. Cause once the police get there, what well, the issue is, I want my refund and she doesn't know how to do the refunds. Now she just gonna have to short her drawer twenty dollars to give me my motherfucking money back. And when night when day shift come in, then they'll have to work that shit out or whatever shift that know what the fuck how to fix the problem. I'm not finna stand here and argue with you and, and just to wait on the uh wait on the fat insults to come. You fat bitch, that's the number one thing he had to say. I don't give a fuck if it wasn't nothing else that he noticed. He gonna have something to say about being fat, then get mad cause she called him a bitch back. Bro, you lucky somebody gonna do something to your bitch, bro. Clearly, clearly I didn't. Bro, I've been here since 10.30. You don't know how to refund some fucking gas. It's 11 o'clock now. You took 10 people before me before fixing a problem. Of course, I'm going to be mad at you. I don't got time to just stand here all day because you don't know your it's job. It's night time, to blame so you're right. Is she supposed to give her your card, though, that you paid with? Bro, she does not know the employee left her. That's what's up. The guy left her and said, oh, she's going to refund your money, sir. Don't worry. But she don't know how to do it, bro. So I'm supposed to just stand here and just keep watching people get rang up, right? Yeah. That makes sense, right? Go ahead, sir. I've just been here since 1030. Yeah, have fun. And this next man is out for a walk with his wife, exploring a new city when they are approached and harassed by a group of young teenagers. The couple try their best to keep their cool while the aggressive group keep calling them names and attempt to physically assault them. Let's oh, check well, out it this is crazy a little clip. It's a, a little white boy. Hey, and I slightly feel like if if that big burly ass white man was to turn around and Donkey Kong hit one of them motherfucking kids on top of the head, it would cause severe damage because everybody is beneath him. And I'm talking about in stature. Look at how tall that man is over everybody else. He not even reaching the collar of his goddamn jacket. Where do y'all create these kids at? <laughs> they can't even aim. Here comes another one. There it was. There it was. Right. Hey. Good shot. Who in the fuck is raising these heathen ass ass kids? 
You know and what? this it is not. Right? I'm trying to see who entitled or angry. Y'all deceived me in did this video. Did they stop, Jody? Jody, did they, Jody, did they stop? Hey. Be careful, guys. Okay, and this next man is filmed going on a loud, irate rant Mr. about Karen how slow the orders are coming the out of a tortilla. popular fast food chain. After hearing this entitled man carry on for far too long, another frustrated customer steps in to tell the man to cool down, stating that if he does not like the wait times or how the employees work, then he should go to a different restaurant next time. Let's play the clip Naturally. and see this crazy male Karen oh, cause reacts. It's because he got on a UFC shirt. He confused. Yeah, he he thinks somebody give a shit. That's why we're backed up half an hour while you guys are doing that's because we don't want to hear your fucking mouth nipples why don't you shut the fuck up and wait to the side but if you can't shut up and wait to the side why don't you wait outside want because of the online orders that's why we're sitting here for half an hour because you guys are drilling out online orders while we're all sitting here Give him his money back. What's the hold up? Give him his money back. No, that's not a part of work. Shit. That shit's retarded. Think just cause somebody at work, but you ain't on. But what I don't understand is why you not taking up all that tone with the person that's not behind that glass. You got somebody talking shit back to you behind you. You giving them the low stairs and all that other shit. Then you turn back around and, and go back in on them people. I can't stand people like that. You got somebody behind you giving you as much pressure and they not at work. So let's talk about it. Shit. Hot sauce, no, he done calmed down now. It took another man to tell him to shut up. Nah, he got pleas in his throat now. Corn please. Oh, okay. And this next male Karen is filmed in Walmart freaking out and being a general nuisance as he demands to speak to the manager after he was unhappy with how he was being treated by multiple employees. On oh, the he, store. Had, Let's take a he look. at Walmart with a clipboard. Leave him alone. <laughs> and coming up next we jump into the middle of a massive argument between an entitled karen and multiple employees at a busy store the employee who is clearly Bath just trying to do works. her job says that she had become fed up with the woman's entitled and rude attitude and therefore ended up refusing to serve her because of it this triggered the woman so she then pulled out her video camera and started to record her experience with the employee <laughs> Other workers hear the pair yell at one another and storm over to help. Let me watch the video. Shut up with all this another. narration. Below, who you think was in the right? Y'all don't send me this no more. He narrates too much. That's why. And then when you said it, I said hello. Right. That's why I said hello. There was no attitude there at all, ma'am. And for you to say you're not going to check somebody out over their attitude. I'm, I'm not. I just said hello. <laughs> I know, but I feel like you're being very rude. So, how am I trying to be rude? No. I couldn't, couldn't hear you at all. So, and honestly. No, but I explained to you the whole time that this is card only. And then when you said that, I said, I'm doing card and I got but my I stuff out to pack. But I, but I pulled my stuff out. I'm sorry, ma'am. First, first of all, who is the customer? If I am the, okay, I'm sorry, but pull, pull, pull it on down because even your energy and your attitude is no, very inappropriate. You, but clearly, you could hear me because you said that I was giving you attitude and you didn't want to well, serve me like off of me saying hello. So I'm gonna first service you first. I am an educator and I also sit on the board for, for no, no. I know she black. I'm giving her because she's being yes. extremely rude. Yes. And I have other customers to sure. you for interrupting me. A lot of other customers to even vouch for that. I'm so sorry. When I came over here, I said hello, and she said. Okay, so now you done changed it because in the beginning you said when I came up I said hello. Now is I said hello when I came up and then every why is it that with customers and, and like you feel the need to tell somebody your job description like we give a fuck? 
I am an educator. I sit on the board of directors for education and teaching and customer service. I have done your job for 23 years plus. So you just decided to give up today because we hiring. As a matter of fact, this position that you're talking to right now finna be open in just a second if you don't get the fuck on away from me. So you can actually get back into the field if you're interested. Like, <laughs> bitch, come on, man. Said, Karen, and she said, what did you say? Cash a card. I said, hello? Cash a card. I said, I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. You know? And then when she was like, I said, oh, okay, I'm a card. So I started pulling this out. And then she continued to get an attitude with me and says that I'm not serving you. I don't like it. And all I was doing was saying hello. Even the way she's like being dismissive right now, that is not okay. She not. You just didn't like the fact that you asked her a question and she said hello. Now, I normally am not on the side of the customer, but I can already tell. Like, yeah, the lady probably was being condescending. That part of your job you have to deal with. That's a part of your job. You're going to get some condescending assholes in there. My mom is, a, is condescending in the stores. God forbid the system go down and it happened to go down on her and anybody else that was here after her get rung up. My mama attitude be nasty as shit. So I just go find somewhere to sit because I'm not going to deal with that. But like this, who are you to tell somebody that because you don't like their attitude, you're not going to serve them? Baby, you at work, not me. You don't have to like my attitude as long as I'm not throwing, dropping, tearing up your 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 store or nothing like that. I'm not pa pa I'm not pestering with your merchandise. I'm not interrupting you while you talking to other people. When I approached you, you asked me cash or card because the lady said, "Oh, hello," and you kept saying cash or card. And she said, "Hello." Basically, she was combating what you're doing because you and your mind, oh no, bitch, you gonna answer me. Because I'm tell I'm asking you cash or card. We'll worry about the pleasantries later. No, that's not how that go, baby. You at work. You at work. You can't have that kind of attitude, Amber. You need to go ahead on and go home. How are you saying that I'm being rude when you said you can't hear me? You understand? You always agree to customers when I'm being rude. Yeah, yeah you don't want to agree. We have to ask for the payment first, and then we go to the Hello? No, that's not true. That's not true. Every Bath and Body Works I done been to, they say hello. They don't ask for the type of payment first. It don't matter. With the customer. I'm not arguing with you. I'm trying you to continue to argue with the customer. You continue to argue with the customer. Young lady, there's a lot of maturity that you need to that needs to happen. You continue to argue. Maybe it's not as bad. It, yeah, it is. You're still arguing with the customer. You're but you're still, I was going to say, you arguing back with her. Get some. And I have no attitude or anything. Stop anymore. arguing with her. You got somebody right there that can help you. I mean, she's arguing with the customer. I'm arguing with her manager, so clearly she's going to argue with me. <laughs> like, leave it alone. They're not good with people at all. But you got the wrong attitude. So y'all got speakers. You need to call for somebody else to come and relieve her because she hasn't. She she's not doing good right now. And this next woman records they had to her to pull her off the register. An arrogant neighbor who has parked her vehicle on this woman's driveway, blocking. Managers, if y'all see y'all got a, a disgruntled employee that ain't in the mood, why, don't have him on the register. It wasn't none but that lady walked up and said, hello, how you doing? Cash your card. Hey, how you doing? Cash your card. Hello, how you doing? I'm not going to serve you because you have an attitude. Now, anybody else, some, somebody that didn't have common sense would have just walked away with that like, damn, she was rude. But because the lady ain't taking that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And luckily it was somebody else to step in and intervene y'all have got to stop filling out these applications where y'all don't want to work at people people do not make you go get these jobs not true enough do i know customers can be jackasses assholes son of a bitches all the above everything that's asshole and asshole like yes they can but sometimes if you wrong recognize when you wrong and check that shit if you want to work in retail just know everybody not gonna be happy with you and it and nine times out of ten it ain't you that they mad at if they are mad and the fucked up part about being in that profession is you can't, you have to have the same demeanor and attitude with everybody. I don't give a fuck how nasty. Now, if it gets to, to be too much, I'm the type of person, I'll go find a supervisor because that's what they pay them for. That's why they pay them a quarter more than you. Okay? I need you to intervene and step into this. This ain't my lane. This ain't what I'm doing. I'm not doing this with this bitch.
You know what I'm saying? That's when you go get a manager. No, you don't have to take abuse neither. You ain't supposed to take no abuse. You know what I'm saying? The manager can determine and handle, okay, no, nah, this is over. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that somebody had to pull her off the register, bitch, now if that lady would have reached back there and slapped the, slapped the motherfucking Paisley print off that goddamn... Slap the motherfucking picnic print off that goddamn mask. This shit been wrong. Taking her from leaving. The woman with the camera says that Karen needs to move her car as soon as possible, otherwise she'll be late for work. Karen refuses, stating that they are being rude to her, and also going to say that she is allowed to be parking there. Bitch, now, move that car. Give a fuck about blocking. somebody being she rude to, to you. her neighbor Karen out for her disgusting and entitled behavior. Let's take a look at this crazy public freakout. Baby, it ain't no way for you to move that car. I told you why. There's not a, there's a spot right there you could park in. What's, and do you live here? Who the f are you? I live that? here. There's somebody who lives here. Who is assigned What a, I need to get in my car and get to a job okay, and you're but You don't have to treat me like this. You, I didn't do it. Girl, get your ass in that car. You ain't that stupid ass dog. Oh, and I'm really hurt. Yes, I need to get to my I have responsibilities I need to get to. Oh, baby, you could have bagged out. No, it's not. The le I signed a lease here. They said uh, you can park right there. No, they didn't. Were you there? You Why are you arguing with her about that? Why are you yelling at me? So who the f are you? Somebody she uh, asked to help her. Good. And you don't live here. Who do you think? You think I'm going to Please hit you? get in your car. Are you recording me? Because you're being psycho. I would like you to get in your psycho. car and move. I'm being psycho. You're Please being get rude. in your Hold car on. and move. I'll wait for the police to come. For what? Because you're being rude to me. The whole time since you knocked on that door, you've been being rude. Why would I be Girl, so nice Girl, what the fuck is the police going to do about people being rude? Somewhere. Get your stupid you ass in that this car. In the place. Never move. This is my spot. I live here. Girl, and you do not live here. Listen. Listen. Like I said, the Lord know who to put in certain positions, baby. Because I see a little space. I would have pulled forward, and if she would have let Cujo behind that car, I would have ran him down. You playing at this point. I'd have kept that camera out the motherfucking window so she know I see everything she doing. You let your dog behind my motherfucking car if you want to. Bar? You being rude. And on next, we jump into the middle Girl. of a massive altercation between three people at a busy gas station. Our video starts off with a random customer telling an arrogant, entitled customer to cool it and cut the employee some slack. The arrogant woman refuses to do so and is filmed flipping the gas station worker off after he didn't give Karen what she had wanted. The man who is filming continues to call the entitled woman out, which ends up putting him in the middle of the firing line. Let's check Oh, it that's out. the lady oh, right there. Shit. $3? He's okay, mama. See, okay. He's just doing his job. Smokey Robinson, go to hell. Oh, oh. Right. just just hurry up. I like your hairstyle, though. How much do you want on your phone? <laughs> and it's funny, she looked more like that. Smokey than she him. Called Bro, Smokey. I'm sure. $3? She called me Smokey. $3? I don't even man, think he knows know Smokey Robinson. Here, man. Here you go. Let me call my boss. It's okay. She's an old lady, bro. She hella old. You got an iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm recording you too, so I don't, gotta, I don't give a shit. I know, I don't want to have to slap at you, so I'd rather just record you, just in case you do something <laughs> to me, and try to talk about, oh, I did something to you. What if I do something to her? I'll protect her too. Is she your sister? Uh, she could be my wife. I didn't say you could go ahead of me. <laughs> grandma, he's just helping. Put in your goddamn code, Grandma. God damn. To... <laughs> Grand. What? He just, just look like Smokey Robinson. Robinson. <laughs> they look like they could be related. They do look alike. Wow, you better be. Are you gonna be giving them your car? Grandma, let's get high, Grandma. I got in the car. I'm about to roll a. You gonna, is you gonna hit this? Is you gonna hit my? Grandma, is you gonna hit my? If I roll a, is you gonna hit my? I love shirt. Because I know it's black and blue. With I know. green on it. Okay. So. And what's green, Smokey? What's your, what's I've been called a honky when I saw, I, when I went to a funeral. And the I've... black said, oh, you're honky white. See, but they didn't know you, Gramps. <laughs> yeah, they did. You, you, and you, yeah, they knew me. Just because, just because. I knew that. say things, that don't mean nothing. <laughs> your black face means <laughs> me. And your white face means me, but it's still love, though. You see, well, I'm. I love how he handled it. I went home. Wow, you're going to.
I love how he handling it because anybody else would have been all our and mad. You can clearly tell that woman elevator do not go past the neck. <laughs> you can clearly tell this woman is off her rocker. Her grandkids ain't called her in years because they don't understand her because she is actually smitten with this man. She is actually entertained and intrigued by this man. I like how he handling it. I can't Ooh, even be mad. You're my grandma. What the? The grandmas don't get. But not by their grandkids. Okay, and this next man is confronted by his neighbors who are in the middle of accusing the older man of trying to bait their child into going into his home. The older Aww, man denies any Merv wrongdoing the and says that he was just trying you to be nice to popsicles? the child. But the parents are quick to disagree. They then go on to tell the man how wrong the entire the situation cell? is. It's Comment not down funny, but I just is what I thought. This crazy clip. Oh, Merv the Purr. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. I got you. Let's make, let's make it easy here, guys. <laughs> give, the, give me the dollars back. That'd be fine. Well, why'd you give the dollars, though? Just to be nice. A nice person. Why do you want Aww. kids coming in your house, though? What? Why do you want kids coming in your house? I just want you guys, the girls who are interested in where I lived. No. Uh, are you sure? Now, I don't believe that, but I will say, back in the day, when I'm sure this shit was going on, but not in the neighborhood we stayed in. Because I was a, a only child, when I would go to my to my big mama house and it'd be so many fucking kids there, I would feel out of place because I'm used to being at home. You know what I'm saying? Outside of like my siblings and shit. But even then, my siblings would come over like for the weekend. So Monday through Friday, a bitch by herself. You know what I'm saying? So I would always find a neighbor. It was one lady in the neighborhood that did arts and crafts. She had you make popcorn balls and shit like that, but she didn't have children. And also Miss Lily, God rest her soul, who just passed uh, recently. But um, Miss Lily, her kids was all grown. And she stayed next door to my big mama house. And Miss Lily would go buy me coloring books and shit like that. And I would literally sit in Miss Lily's floor and color books all day. Like, just to give me time to be by myself. Because I didn't like to be with the other kids all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, I can kind of understand. But at the same time, you done gave them a dollar. And then you're going to tell them the girls was interested in where you live, sir. Okay, question number two. They said, where are the stairs? And your, your, your other buddy that was with you. Yeah, let's go get them. Let's go get them. What do you, what do you want to talk to their parents about? Why you gave them the dollars? Oh, why? Well, why not? It just seems a little odd. Hey. I mean, all the people... All the people used to always give kids money. I don't know. Uh, it, it just, you know, I'm gonna, if I'm going to be honest with you, it seems kind of odd. Bad. I'm good, dude, honestly. Okay. I'm a little good. That's a little creepy. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know. It just kind of. You ain't got no business with them coming like in your house. You are, you're an older so man and you by yourself and they little think? girls. Give now, and both ladies I went, they was both ladies. They didn't have, their husbands was deceased and they didn't have kids and one had kids who was grown. Well, I'm not coming in, but I just, I'm wondering, you know, cause it, it it's, it's a odd. weird that you, you know, give little girls dollars and, you know, invite them in. It just, for me... The I, invite them in part I mean, is what's odd. Is kind of weird? No. Of course, of course you don't. I gave two guys uh, a dollar each, too. They were all together. Okay. But why? You just, just being nice? Old that people was, normally give kids dollars. Years. Like, that's not okay. weird. But why'd you invite us in all of a sudden? Ah, uh, okay. I don't know. Invited you in if you want to come in, you can. You invited us in. You're, why don't we come in and talk? That's a little weird, but... Uh, well, you would rather talk on the porch about the man being a pedo? You're not looking at the big picture. I don't know what you're looking at. Well, yeah. I'm looking at someone who's giving little girls dollars, you know, inviting them in. Call it what you're trying to say. You knock on the door. Sir, it seems Obviously, it walking, seems pedo you know, what you're trying to do. You know, I thought you were just generally a nice guy, but apparently, you know, there's something else. You um, have an ulterior motive of pedo. But, all right, well, I'll see you later. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, because I can't understand going through all that not to, not to call a thing a thing. Shit, call a spade a spade. That's what the fuck it is, ain't it? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, y'all, that was the top 25 best entitled Angry Karens, although I seen maybe five or ten.
or less. Um, but I do thank y'all so much for rocking with me and watching this video. Um, guess I'm going to jump head, head first into another one. All right. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.